percent. Speaking of really cool video, you know who just got us some exclusive, very awesome video? Uh, I would think it's Alan Adler. Mm -hmm. He just took a trip out to the Phoenix area to visit the Nikola facility, their test track. He was able to see the Nikola Trey, their flagship vehicle, uh, and he, of course, was allowed to record some video of the test run, and we do have it for you now. And so this is exclusive, a Freight Waves exclusive uh, combination video between what Nikola provided Alan and what he shot out there as well. So this kind of demonstrates the turning radius of its flagship vehicle, the Nikola Trey. Of course, Nikola's been in the headlines. They've been up and down, it seems like, when it comes to what they're doing good, what they're maybe not ha having the most success with. And uh, this is a big move for Nikola. You can find the whole story from Alan up on FreightWaves.com, and that video is awesome, finally rolling out some uh, actual use of their truck. Yeah, right. I mean, it's um, after last year's kind of debacle, having that truck that just rolled down the hill, it's good to see a working product, and it seems to be a really good product. Alan was impressed by it. You know, it's, there's so many benefits of electric and hydrogen trucks, whether it be they're silent. I think that's one of the mm -hmm. big things, is that these things can move very fast with a lot of weight, and they're completely silent. The turn radius is great, but probably going to be something that drivers have to get used to. It's going to be very easy to jackknife yourself uh, with that good of a turn radius, but going to be great to watch them. They've got really uh, solid milestones to hit. They seem to have a very focused uh, team right now, so I am actually excited to watch Nickel in the coming months. And you know what? They're getting close to those goals. And that's all I've got for you today on Freight Waves Now, but we've got lots of good content coming up for the rest of the day on your Wednesday. It is Wednesday, which means we've got What the Truck coming up at noon with Dooner and the Dude. Also Wednesday, which means it's... Yes, time for point of sale. I have uh, my sponsor, Arc Best. I'm going to have Danny Lowe. He is the chief yield officer. Having him back for another episode. We talked about managed transportation last time he came on. Today, mm -hmm. we're going to talk about carrier compliance. We're going to talk about what he's seeing in the market uh, from Arc Best. They have a very big view of logistics because they've got, you know, they've got an expedited. They've got LTL. They've got truckload. They do a little bit of everything. So he's on the asset light side. We're going to talk about carrier compliance and what they're seeing from capacity uh, on down through demand going to be a good one. You don't want to miss that. You also don't want to miss today's episode of With Sonar. That's Luke Velasca and Kyle Taylor always coming with the best information and insights about Sonar platform and what data you really need to use to take the most advantage of it. Yes, I have a feeling they're going to be talking about those brand new indices that Zach was mentioning earlier, the carrier, uh, the carrier direction and the carrier uh, capacity metrics. They are great. I can't wait to see more on it. That's going to be up at 3.30. We'll be back tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. We'll see you then.